have to act. Extreme weather disrupts supply chains, causing delays and shortages for consumers and businesses. Climate change is literally an existential threat to our nation and to the world. Propped up in Somerset, Massachusetts, Joe Biden, United Nations Agenda 2030, signaled that he would soon grant himself illegal climate change emergency powers that could bring a screeching halt to U.S. exports of crude oil and eliminate offshore drilling, ushering in the very real possibility of converting military funding into the construction of renewable energy projects. Motivated, fit, and academically proficient men and women continues to be a challenge. Only 23% of military-age men and women in the United States are qualified to serve. This is an emergency, an emergency, and I will. I will look at it that way. I said last week, and I'll say it again loud and clear. As president, I'll use my executive powers to combat climate, the climate crisis in the absence of congressional actions, notwithstanding their incredible actions. To ratchet up the fear and confuse the public into assuming all is well with the globalist Build Back Better calamity, UN Agenda 2030 salesman Joe Biden made many claims that simply aren't true. Records have been set in the Arctic and the Antarctic, temperatures that are just unbelievable, melting the permafrost. It's, it's, it's astounding the damage that's being done. If he took a very careful look with consistent data over long periods of time, you will find that these disasters are not increasing. In fact, the health of the world is increasing uh, tremendously. Uh, for example, deaths from weather disasters and so on has gone down about 95 <laughs> percent. On top of confusing, misleading rambling that led many to wondering if the sitting president had cancer, Disaster Joe has stepped in it again. It had to put on their windshield wipers to get literally the oil slick off the window. That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. And why can't for the longest time Delaware had the highest cancer rate in the nation. How can you tell that the United Nations Agenda 2030 has already gone off the rails? Well, in the United Nations Declaration for Agenda 2030, the authors immediately declared that they recognize that eradicating poverty in all of its forms and dimensions, including extreme poverty, is the greatest global challenge. Yet, the hasty power grab disguised as a green energy revolution has already plunged Europe's economy into chaos. Extreme global poverty and mass starvation is the United Nations goal and the world is responding. I will now outline in more detail how we see the economy and inflation developing and will then explain our assessment of financial and monetary conditions. So, economic activity is slowing. But don't count Joe Biden's globalist puppet masters out. If you take the time to actually research the writings of the architects of global governance, the United Nations Agenda 2030 debacle that is well underway is nothing short of a psychotic power grab by the emerging technocratic eugenicists posing as our saviors, dismantling the global economy piece by piece inching towards neo-feudal insanity. And we're going to defend the rules-based international order that protects us all. The UN's leading international climate scientists call the latest climate report nothing less than, quote, code red for humanity. 